Now and then, almost everyone falls into lazy language. Imprecise words, weak verbs, unimaginative descriptions. But sounding like a parent who's been watching a TV sitcom with a cast of teenagers will not impress executives at a networking event or prospective employers during a job interview. Upgrade your conversational skills by deleting these well-worn phrases. Warning, you may need to click the video version here to get the full effect of the tone of voice, the inflection, the accompanying attitude. First example, like. Have we as a team like ever considered exhibiting at a like trade show? I mean like we could purchase a booth for the X deck show for like uh, under four thousand dollars and not incur any travel expenses because it's you know like uh, right here in our own city. Another example. Amazing. Commonly applied to everything from buttered toast to band practice to burning bridges this cliche has become as meaningful as interesting. Third example. Seriously? Depending on the facial expression and tone, this cliche can take on opposite meanings. With no attitude, it can mean, Amen. Agreed. I hear ya. With a sarcastic twist and accompanying body language, it can turn into, are you crazy? Or how about this one? Oh, really? This affirmation is the teen's substitute for I understand or I agree. But followed by a question mark or said with an uprising voice, it means the opposite. I totally disagree. What are you smoking? Or how about this example? Absolutely. Formerly an enthusiastic yes, this cliche has lost such clout that it now substitutes for almost any old ordinary yes. Do you think? As in, duh. Interpret this question to mean, pinhead, are you not thinking here? Or the innocuous innovative or innovation. This label now gets automatically linked to anything and everything new. Or how about this one, thought leader. This epithet becomes attached to almost anyone who writes, speaks, trains, delivers a webinar, serves on a panel, advises a group, or serves as a mentor. In fact, if you hold rank higher than mailroom clerk, you qualify today as a thought leader in your field. Just like filler in your food bucks up the meal without adding nutrition, at best these words clutter up conversation without adding meaning. And also like fillers in your food, at worst these cliches can cause serious listener reactions. What other cliches can you add to this list? Comment in the section below.